What's going on guys? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Data Dash and today is July 28th of 2017. All right guys, let's do a real quick market recap as always. And guys, I gotta say, I was uh, right the other day, I, th I thought we were gonna pretty much maintain here at the 50 day and it looks like we did. Uh, the volume's been uh, definitely con more consistent than a lot of the days back here, even some on the sell side. So we've got some buying action coming in, uh, but nowhere close to of course what we saw on the 19th. So. That being said though, um, if this green candle holds up today guys, this is uh, a lot of optimism going towards uh, August 1st. So we've only got a few more days. We go ahead and look here on the calendar. We've only got uh, technically today and then three other days until August 1st. So August 1st is uh, it's going to be a pretty big day guys. On uh, I don't know if there's a specific time on that day, but um, on that day is really going to be when we're, we're going to see SegWit go through. Uh, now, Coinbase had sent out an alert that sounded kind of like fearful, and they were talking about, you know, it's it's very likely that we'll get a fork, and you know, like I said, guys, I, I just honestly don't, I don't know if we're gonna get the fork or not, and if it's gonna even be a big deal. I think people are just ready to get through it, and I think we're seeing that confidence remain in the market. I think after this day, when everyone just confidently signed on to doing SegWit, I think that uh, you know, a lot of people just kind of the fear evaporated, a lot of the funding went away. And this is just a nice simple pullback to get in at some, uh, you know, to show that support. This happens a lot t technically when um, peop when uh, price action goes above moving averages, especially after a candle like this, you're, you're usually expected to see a pullback down to the higher moving average. You know, for example, we went down to the 50 day and we broke not only against that, but we went up here to the 50 day. It needs that price strength confirmation, which a lot of people call it in the industry, where it comes back down touches the indicator, just kind of rides along it as we saw with the price action. Sure, the wicks went under a little bit, but it closed above the 50 day and it just kind of curves back up and has this beautiful price action where it's going to go test the highs again. So if you guys look at the sell walls here, uh, there's not too much uh, Bitcoin volume on the sell side. And uh, I think people are just going to keep on paying through and it's going to come back here to the highs probably. And we'll see if we uh, if it goes past it. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, guys. But Anyways, that's it for Bitcoin. I see confidence coming back in. The volume's pretty steady, um, but nonetheless, we'll just have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. Ooh, Ethereum not looking good, guys. Uh, this is what I told you all. I, I really think we are going to come down here and touch this 200 day. Been saying it for a while. The fact that it was holding on the 100 day, I mean, that could be seen as strength, but the fact that it was tethering on it for so long and kind of slowly curving off of it. That's a worry sign, guys. Um, nonetheless, though, uh, I think that uh, this could be a good buy down here. This is where you can start adding if you want to really hold Ethereum long term. It's more than a 50% pullback from its highs. Uh, I bet in USD valuation, it's uh, pretty cheap uh, comparative to its highs as well. So I definitely start to look to where you can add Ethereum here. Maybe add half your portion here. And then maybe if you're lucky, you can get the other half portion of your Ethereum buy down at the 200 day. Uh, so that would be a really solid buy, honestly. As much as I'm not excessively optimistic on uh, there being a bullish trend in uh, Ethereum, if you're looking to hold it for the long term and you really believe in its technology and its adoption, and you're you're in a, if you're if you're a cultish you know fan of Vitalik Buterin, uh, then go ahead and buy some Ethereum if you want. You know, just definitely you know do your research. And uh, you know, think for yourself in that sense, because it, it you know it is still very. If we take a, a good step back, guys, we always have to keep in mind we are still very high compared to where it was just just back a few months ago. So it has been a wild uh, trip for Ethereum, but nonetheless, could definitely get it probably cheap. Let's go ahead and look at Litecoin here. I like Litecoin on the USD valuation. If we'll go here to the daily. As always, still remaining around that 50-day. However, uh, this candle is not looking very good. We're gonna definitely need some upside uh, to Litecoin here if we want to keep that trend to the 50-day. Uh, and if that has a, if it has some decent sell-off action, I don't really see why it would, to be honest, on the USD side with you know Bitcoin going up, unless it's comparative to Bitcoin valuation goes down, which actually we'll go ahead and take a look at here. Oh, is that are we actually looking at that right now? Oh no, I just have it still in my search bar. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh yeah, that's going under the 100-day. Uh, that's not a good sign. I mean. It's to me. I think this is cheap. I think that's good. But what you could see, worst case scenario, is it loses uh, a few uh, uh, bits of price level and it goes back down here to its levels in June. And if it did that, if it went down to there, guys, 
guys, that's a pretty good steal. Litecoin's uh, pretty cheap. And uh, as I've said with you guys, there are a few candidates out there that I really think could be that next Ethereum. And I'm not going to sit here and guarantee it. Uh, you know, the, the what stinks is I heard actually in the comments that the MIT thing that was supposedly coming out, the MIT update for Litecoin, uh, was a it was a sham. It never happened. The domain, uh, it, it doesn't take you anywhere now. So there's no countdown or, you know, enticement coming with that. I don't think it's ever going to happen. So I think that led to a lot of... Uh, negativity because a lot of people were really looking forward to that but nonetheless Litecoin's still improving its tech it's got a great team uh and it's really on the cheaper end actually i'll go ahead as we've looked at the three big ones i want to go to coin market cap and look at litecoin litecoin's still hovering around a two billion dollar valuation if we go ahead here i just want to look at the market cap compared to the prices we've already done that definitely uh on the cheaper end of things guys we're, we're near two billion and just a you know just a few uh weeks ago back in july this was around almost three billion, uh, so it's so almost lost about one third of its value. So I would definitely, uh, I'd definitely consider watching this, guys. Uh, still got good volume on it. Uh, still, I love you guys. Know I love the max supply coins, and Litecoin isn't that far away from it. So we have to think long term here with this kind of one. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at the market cap for cryptocurrencies. So. Still have yet to get in this area of the seventy-eight or sorry, the ninety-eight billion dollar range. We have recovered a lot of our price action, and I will say that Bitcoin has made up the majority of this. Altcoins have not moved up that much. If we go here and look at the altcoin market cap, yet we're right down back to the lows, guys. Uh, this is is kind of worrying. I'll be honest. I, I've told you all in videos. I, I have a pretty diversified approach in uh, altcoins. Uh, honestly, though, they, they're only moving up in their USD valuation because Bitcoin's moving up. So honestly, I think a lot of uh, confidence is coming into Bitcoin, guys. I think that a lot of people aren't worried about what's going to happen. Uh, and they're trying to get in Bitcoin before really on August 1st, where it's most likely just going to just absolutely moon, kind of like what we saw on July 19th. So, uh, you know, only time will tell, guys. We got to be patient with this. But I like that it at least found some support in the $43 billion area. So maybe we'll, we'll curl back up and go back to these levels going into SegWit. So I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, like I said, I'm diversified, so I'm not really worried. But definitely, uh, we do not want to start seeing this curve back down. We want to see maybe a slight little pullback and uh, a curve upwards to meet these highs again at 98. So we got to have that confidence come into altcoins. We got to get Bitcoin into that little bit that little bit of enthusiasm going into SegWit if we really want to see confidence. I want to talk about Bitcoin dominance here. Bitcoin has reclaimed a lot of its lost territory, going from a, a low of 38, uh, or I guess we could round it up to 39%, to uh, 51%. God, I, I tell you, Ethereum and Ripple going down have given this guy, uh, you know, given Bitcoin uh, a serious ticket back to it, its position in leadership. It's a lot more safe and secure as being the top dog right now. And I, like I said with you guys, as much as Bitcoin even was going down, it still remained the top dog, uh, you know, throughout this whole process and stuff. Uh, and it, it will continue to do that because all coins are going to get pulled back just as heavy as Bitcoin will. And uh, we've seen that with Ethereum and Ripple. And Ripple doesn't want to show much signs of coming back, nor does Ethereum. Right now, people are concerned about Bitcoin because you need Bitcoin to exchange with any other coin. That's a simple fact, whether you like its tech or not. So anyways, guys. That is it for the market analysis. I've got a few videos coming out for you guys today. Uh, I want to say again, thank you guys so much for the positive, uh, you know, feedback and you know, just support for my channel, guys. We've been growing at a very rapid rate. And if you guys got any ideas about uh, what you guys want to see, leave a comment down below. You got a coin you want me to cover? I'd be happy to talk about it. I've got a few in the pipeline. I'm still trying to cover, but nonetheless, I'm trying to get to it as quick as possible. So, anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next video. So stay tuned.